Greetings. Today I want to ask you a question. Is Jesus Christ real or fake? So the question is about whether Jesus Christ is real or fake. So the very first thing you have to know, you have to know if there was actually a literal man 2,000 years ago named Jesus who had special powers and him being the Christ. Now, if you believe in secular Christianity and you believe that the Bible is secular history and you believe that there was a historical figure by the name of Jesus who was the Christ, then he must have a race. So you have to decide whether it's it that Jesus Christ is a white man, or a Caucasian man, or a Chinese man, or a Japanese man, a black man, a Indian, whatever race it is. Some people would say to you that Jesus Christ was a Jewish man. Then you have to ask yourself if being Jewish or being a, a Jew is a certain race of people. Therefore, if that is your conclusion, then you will have to come to the conclusion that God is bias and that God has dissimulation and that God have a special people on this earth. But I want to say to you that when you understand that the very life in each and every one of us is God, then you will understand why God can never give you anything greater than eternal life. Because God is life itself. So, my brother, my sisters, what I teach is that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. That the Bible is not literal, neither is it secular history. And that most of the Bible is all glory. Most of the Bible is metaphysical. So when you understand the Bible to be an allegory and you understand that many people have been taking personification for persons, then you will understand that the central character of the Bible is actually man's imagination, which is the creator in man, the savior in each and every one. So when you discover that the savior is within you, then you will realize why you cannot go into the grocery store and fill your Charlie with groceries and tell the cashiers that Jesus would have paid the price, that Jesus is your savior, that Jesus Christ has done it all for you. No, you would have to provide the necessary money to pay for your bills because you are the savior of your own self. So, my brother, my sisters, what I want to say to you is that for you to believe in Jesus Christ as a literal person who existed 2,000 years ago, you'd have to choose which race he belonged to. And whatever race he belongs to, you'd have to see that race as the, God of, uh, the people of God. And you'd have to serve that race. You'd have to worship that race. And you'd have to exalt that race higher than you. And to be honest with you, that is what secular Christianity have done to millions of people around the world who are looking to a literal Jerusalem. That is what secular Christianity would have done to a people who are giving credit to a people who they refer to as the Jews. And putting them on a pedestal and calling them the chosen people of God. No, every one of us have been chosen. Every one of us have been chosen out of millions and millions of sperm. And the cosmic light shines upon us. And we've been expressed here to have this human experience. So if you should take anything away from what I'm saying, I'm saying to you, my brother, my sisters, that God and man are one. And that God in man is actually man's imagination. The creator in each and every one. Therefore, use your imagination to create your reality consciously. 
And you will understand why the Bible says in St. John 1 and 3, that all things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. Can you believe people in my country, 95 if not 99% of the people believe that when the Bible says that all things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made, they believe that he's speaking of a man 2,000 years ago? Could you see how much a people can be brainwashed? Could you see how much a people can be deceived? And believing in a power or entity outside of themselves. So if you believe that the Savior is outside of you. Then you will have to believe that the opposition is outside of you also. That's why most people have a scapegoat that they refer to as the devil. But I'm saying to you that the devil is a negative self. The devil is the side of you. That want to keep you in your ego self. Where you put God on the outside. You edge God out. But when you realize that the kingdom of God is within you and look within yourself, you discover that the Savior is within you. And Matthew 6.33 gives you that secret where it tells you if you seek for us the kingdom of God and his righteousness, that you will find the kingdom of God and, and his righteousness within you. And when you find that secret within you, you will definitely find the secret of creation and you'll be able to create your reality consciously. And the evidence would be that all these things that you so design this world, you will know how to attract them to you. That's why I say all these things would be added on to you. It means you will know how to create your life whichever way you want it to be. You will become the Lord and Master of your destiny. So you will not be looking on the outside for a Savior. Like for example, in my country, just recently, I think it was just um, April of last year, there was a massive volcanic eruption in my country and we were out of water. And there has, there has never been one Christian in my country or one pastor or anyone who claimed to believe in Jesus who sat around their table with their empty buckets and containers and were willing to pray and call upon Jesus to fill their buckets with water or to provide water for them. Everyone was trying to save their own asses. Okay, so basically you are being a damn hypocrite to try to say that you have a savior named Jesus Christ who died on some cross and you. Um, who done some cross for you. But when you need the necessities of life, you cannot call on Jesus to provide them for you. And they've been done for you by a literal power outside of yourself. No, you have to look within yourself. And you have to believe in yourself so that these things can be done in your life. That's why everyone who has a job that goes out to work to gain money, to take care of their bills. And so, we see, even in my country, the preachers were claiming that they're casting out demons out of people, but yet they can't turn water into wine. All those things are just trickery. So my brother and my sisters, there have never been any man thousands of years ago named Jesus. What special powers? You're the one who have all of the powers inside of you. And when you discover it for yourself, then you would know that the virgin birth is not a birth from down below. It's a birth from above. It's a birth from the skull. And I'm speaking from experience. 100% experience. That's why I know the, big, the biggest lie that has been ever fed to all of humanity is that Jesus and Mary story that has been interpreted to you as if it is literal and as if it is secular history. And as I come to a close here, I want to say to you that even if you disagree with me, it has to first be mental, it has to first be psychological, it has to first be a thought in your mind for you to disagree with me. So could you imagine that someone can be so delusional that when I say that the Bible is psychological, that the Bible is mental, that the Bible is a book of mind science and that it addresses the human mind and should be interpreted psychologically. Could you imagine somebody going to use their psyche, use their mentality to speak to me, to disagree with me? Man, that is ridiculous. It's ridiculous to really think someone could be so dumb. But unfortunately, my country where I'm living, there's 99.999999% of the people that is religious and superstitious and have that kind of belief. Whether they go to church or they do not go to church. But we all know that the real church is this. And this is the only church there is. 
Okay. So my brother and my sister can go on and on and on. But I wanna come to a close and I wanna say to you if this is the very first time that you are listening to me, what I'm saying, if it makes sense, if it really resonates with you and you haven't subscribed already, I'm definitely encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, if you like to follow me on Instagram, I like to follow me on TikTok, you can follow me at Black Mad Guru. And if you feel strongly to support this work, I just want to remind you that there is a PayPal and the link is always down below. Also, you can feel free to be a part of my Patreon community and you can help to support this work continually. Or you can take my $20 course, which is called the Inner Sun Science and Technology to create your reality consciously. And when you discover the inner sun that is within you, your light will so shine before the world that the world will see and it will glorify the power that is within you. Because the power that is in you is God in you. So if you feel strongly to check out those videos, I'll definitely encourage you to do so. At this time, I want to just say peace. Love you all. I'm out.